Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do my unboxing and haul video of some Black Friday items that I picked up from the Jackson's Art Supply store. So I did order this the DHL and I often don't share these because they're sold out and then I feel bad sharing them. So hopefully some of these items might still be in stock and you might still be able to get the Black Friday deal. Okay, so it's a great big box full, full of art goodness. So everything's wrapped in little packages that I get to go open and then be surprised about what's in there. So I'm gonna set all these aside to open and get to the good stuff in here at the bottom. I'll start with these. So if you have not shopped at Jackson's before, they always have little, uh, they used to be free samples, but now I think these, I wanna say these are like 12 cents or something like that. I went ahead and got some more of these dot charts. They're Daniel Smith dot charts. You wet them and you can sample the colors. You can place one per order. So since I placed two orders, I was allowed to get two. I love to pass these to friends so they can try Daniel Smith watercolors. And then I also did get a sample of the Lux Archival. It's for pastel paper and uh, professional sanded art paper. So it's really good for pastels and it's really expensive paper. So I love to get a sample and make little bitty artworks. One of my lovely viewers recommended for oil pastels that I try some extra, some primed um, linen. And so I know nothing about this but I'm excited to try. So I picked up some of these uh, primed linen. This one is primed with gesso and that one so far I think that's going to be my favorite. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I'm i guessing you paint on this side actually. It's like a canvas but you paint on this side. So, but really cool. I also got a piece of this. I think this is a Moulin Rouge paper. It is a hot pressed expensive paper and I love trying the samples first before I pick up a pad. And then I also did get this postal uh, information. This is kind of a little catalog from Schmincke. And this has not only some, <laughs> it shows some lovely wish list items and then has all kinds of information that's really useful. But mostly what I want this for is I like to see all of the pigment information of the colors because I'm looking at computer screen when I'm ordering my colors. And so I find it very helpful to have the pigment information as well. So got one of those. First thing I went ahead and got is I got these Faber-Castells, the Aberdeer watercolor pencils. So I wanted to start working more out of the 24 set. Um, right now during the Black Friday sale, this was $28. But I've always wanted to try the Magnus pencils and so I uh, get a sample of that. So I'm super excited about that. I really thought this 24 set would be perfect to grab and go and keep it in my little tote where I can just grab it and play with these more often. Uh, let me go ahead and open this up really quick. I saw that the lady from, I'm, I forget her name, but the lady from Coloring Bliss uh, tried these and she really liked these. So I was really wanting to try some of these. Look at this gorgeous. It's, this is in ginormous and it's really cool actually. So I'll test that out. Okay, so let's see which colors this comes with. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great to work with. This is gonna be, I love having little sets to just take to the couch and play with. So that's what this is for. And and then I, I'll know that I have another set so I don't have to worry about you know, sharpening them and using them and making them. My favorite colors are like down to here now. And so uh, this is going to be lovely to play with. So I'll swatch those out for you guys in just a minute. Okay, next they had some Strathmore watercolor paper. 
on sale and this is the 200 series which i haven't tried i think i've tried the 400 series not sure what to expect if this is just going to be like canson but i uh, can't wait to try it but uh, this is acid free and it's got 15 sheets it's the 9 by 12. so i did get that and then i believe they also had this i believe i got all this papers that I was interested in that they had on sale that were still in stock. There was other brands that I wanted that were out of stock before I could place my order sadly. So but this is a 300 series. I'm curious how it's going to be and so this is for 12 sheets and it is acid free as well so it's not going to yellow and then uh, it's heavyweight but it's the 300 series. So this is the 400 and this is for drawing. This coming year I really want to start drawing more. This is acid free and it's for finished artwork for dry media. So but it looks like it'd be really good for pencils and it's very smooth and it looks like it'll be really good for um, pencils and probably charcoal pencils as well. And then this is the 300 series so I could compare and see what the difference is for the drawing sheets and they had this on sale as well. So this is the better the 300 series for the drawing paper. I picked up these little uh, sets. I think these are great and I thought that they weren't selling them anymore. It's a great way to try these and so I'm going to open these because these are going to be gifts for people. So I am not going to open these but I'm going to show you the ones that I have so you can see what it is. So, but uh, this is what they look like and these are some of the colors that I received in my set and then I've added a few uh, more colors because like I needed to try their turquoise and uh, their gold. I do really love using these but the fact that you have to use a fixative, uh, these are my least used to be honest but they're a lot of fun and I have a friend who really loves oil pastels and I think she's using like Jane Davenport or something. And so I think she's really going to love this. But they do all come in foam. And then you could try them before you buy a set. They can be dangerous because then you found another thing you love. But I love these sets so much. And then they come in the little tin that you can reuse later. So uh, I think they're great gifts. And then this is the oil. This one I think was the one that I was least interested in. And I've actually loved the most. So this is what they come with. They're, they're tricky because you have to remove this outer film. And I just use an X-Acto knife to do that. But I never had so much fun. Other than watercolors, I don't think I've ever had so much fun with a product. I have some um, little peanuts that I'm saving. Don't throw these away. Because one of my viewers said that this is what they use to blend their pastels. So I thought that was such a great idea. Um, and thank you so much. I love, that is one of the things I love sharing these videos for. So we can all share ideas. And so, but I did get a few more. But I've been collecting the colors. And so now I decided, to, I love the gold so much. I had to go back and get copper. And then this is yellow ochre and olive green. I, and then I also had to pick up two of my favorite colors from Roman Schmal. I use these colors all the time. Cobalt, teal, and Potter's Pink. Uh, they, they're really fun to mix with and especially I love them with Caput Mortem. I'll just go ahead and open all the Schmincke palettes now. So I'll just let you know. I went a little crazy with the Schmincke palettes. Every year there's a Black Friday, I usually get their Black Friday. And most of them I have liked. Um, I'm going to start with these. So you guys know I'm a Schmincke addict for sure, right? I love collecting all the sets. And please don't give me hate. I know I have too many. And I love them, so I don't care. <laughs> Some women love shoes and jewelry. And I just love all the art supplies. So this is the special edition. These are the pearl metallics. There's nine. This comes with 12 colors and it's nine of them are pearl metallics and three are gold pearl metallics. I have not tried any of the colored pearl metallics yet. So that's why I got this set. So 
So it comes in the lovely case with the rolled edges. It has the white enamel. This set comes with yellow light pearl, yellow pearl, red pearl, magenta pearl, blue pearl, cyan blue pearl, green pearl bluish, green pearl, black pearl, red gold, yellow gold, and light gold. So it's interesting there's no violet color, but I guess you can mix the colors, but excited to have these finally. And then next, this was what I placed with my first order. So this one, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence if I would have ordered it, if I would have known they were going to have the other palettes, to be honest. I love the artwork they put on here, and I think I'm actually going to take this and make this into kind of a sticker magnet to designate this for to be my floral palette. And I might put all of my pretty but not light fast colors in this, is what I was thinking. So here's the back. And here is the gorgeous palette. This palette is the floral palette. And then the colors included in this set are chromium yellow hued lemon, pure yellow, which that's one of my favorite yellows from Schmincke, yellow orange, vermilion light, transparent red deep, ruby red, quinacridone magenta, quinacridone purple, cobalt blue light, phthalo blue, helio green, and sterling green. as well so you can write down all the numbers and then you have room for 12 more pans of course and then this one is probably going to be my favorite if I would have known they were gonna have the this sale I don't know if I would have got the floral to be honest this is the Hordam Aquarelle this is the Schmincke uh, Black Friday deal from Jackson's I think depending on the colors you like is which one you should get but I honestly got this for the leather pouch because wonderful. This is gorgeous in this leather little pouch. It has a little wrap and then you open it and then inside is the lovely case. And I I love these leather pouches. I, ugh, I love them. They protect the beautiful tin. <laughs> and I love protecting and keeping things really nice. And I know most people don't care as much, but I love that. Okay, this set comes with the swatch chart. And the colors included in this set are lemon yellow, quinacridone gold, Transparent Orange, Geranium Red, Magenta, Perline Violet, French Ultramarine, Helio Cerulean, Thalo Green, May Green, Perline Green, and Neutral Tint. So this probably has more of my favorite colors in it. 99% of you don't need both palettes. <laughs> they were such good deals. I just like, I can't pass them up. <laughs> I'm a Schminka addict. I just, I love all the palettes. <laughs> have some different things they had uh, if you guys remember my last haul I had picked up the white and I really wanted to try their gold so I'm going to try this this is the gold this is the arrow color this is acrylic ink so this was not a Black Friday sale this was just in my wish list and I couldn't wait to try it so since it was back in stock I did get that and then this and then they had this on the Black Friday sale so I thought it was fake so this says, this has some information about it. They have 69 colors, high pigmentation, highest light fastness, water dilutable, waterproof when dry, ideal for airbrush, dip pens, and liner and brushes. So very cool. I'm going to swatch these out really quick because I don't have to open any pans. And so it won't take too long. So first is Indian yellow. I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing you need to shake these. These are very interesting. So this is the Indian yellow. It's pretty. 
Okay. And this is Red Matter Dark. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see what those dry down to. And then this is the Sapphire Blue. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm fighting the... <laughs> I'm fighting the urge to mix these. Oh, I can't wait to play with these. Okay, this, this is, forgot to tell you the color on that one. This is Brilliant Green. And this is Sepia. And then Brown Brazil. I would like that color much better. And then, sorry, I'm going off screen. Okay, and then this is the Brilliant Gold. It seems like they had two golds and I don't remember why I picked this one, but let's see how it does. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Um, so really quick, I just want to know if these mix. Just to swatch these out to see. Oh, that's really nice. I just, I can't resist. I got to know what these uh, swatch out to do. Oh, these are going to be fun. So you can water them down. There is nothing more fun to me than playing with new art supplies. I'm just becoming an art junkie. Okay, and then the gold. Hmm. There's definitely some, a little bit of shimmer in there. And then, okay, we, we all want to know, right? What happens if you mix these? <laughs> oh my goodness, what a gorgeous color that's going to be. Okay, so they mix really well. And the next freaky new to me, I don't know anything about it, is they also had these, um, is it Dalaroni? Dalaroni? I'm not sure. I, I've never tried this brand before, I don't think, so I don't know anything about this brand. But these are acrylic shimmering color set. And so that, <laughs> that got my attention. So let me go ahead and open this up and I'll swatch these out as well. This says, it's a sh it's, um, shows some artwork. And I th again, I thought this would be really fun for like sketchbooks. Uh, so this one comes with shimmering blue, shimmering red, shimmering green, shimmering gold, velvet, violet, and black. And so let's open this up. They did tape this to keep it from opening. So, so this one comes with instructions. So that's cool because I don't know anything about acrylic inks except for they looked really cool and they were on sale so I had to try it out and I've had so much fun trying out different products that I can't even tell you so first oh look it's pretty and glittery in there oh but this is torn 
my bottle, the, the label is all torn and several different places. Oh, there's a few of them like that. Maybe this isn't a very good brand. It says it's made in England. So it says acrylic ink, water resistance, non-clogging, pigmented, shake lightly before use. So this has some shimmer at the bottom. So, so these come with a eyedropper, but they don't come with a little ball at the end. So they don't feel, they don't feel from first impression, they don't feel as good a quality, but maybe they're like the generic version. I'm sure they're fine. Oh, wow. That's a pretty color though. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I gotta get my schminkas out of the way because these are prettier. <laughs> um, okay. Let me try it on the black paper as well. I wish these had the same applicator that the Schminka had. But I'll just use my dip pen next time. Those are really pretty colors. Wash that out a little bit. So that's going to be pretty. And then here we have shimmering gold. It has some gold particles at the bottom there. So it's like the fine text, it doesn't show up very much on the white, but you can see what it looks like on the black paper, I hope. Oh, that's pretty too. <laughs> okay, shimmering blue. This is probably better for watercolor paper. And this one is the shimmering red. These look really neat, but I have fine texts that do this. So I'm not, I'm trying to think of how I would use these that I couldn't use fine text so far, honestly. Um, so I'll have to look up and see. It's not Jackson's fault, so, but um, I think this is shimmering green, but the label again is all tore up. So on several places, it's like that. So this is like a cheapy brand from England. I'm really not sure, but I wanted to try. It has some chunky stuff. I don't know if it's the pigment or what, but it looks like curdled cream. <laughs> But the color is pretty. The color is really pretty. And then this is the black. So it is very black. And that's my least favorite color, of course. But I love all of these. These are really nice. And then lastly, Jackson's had this Shamika set of pastels for, I want to say $53 or in the 50s. And Shamika pastels are wonderful, but they are so expensive. So I had to jump on that. So this includes 10 full size and 20 half sticks. And so let me open this up and show you guys what's inside. It has some lovely colors. It has white, permanent yellow, permanent yellow deep, permanent red. This looks like a matter red, matter lake, ultramarine light, cobalt blue, may green, burnt umber, and serious black. 
And then it has a nice mix of pastel and skin tones as well as an aqua as looks like a yellow ochre, some other brighter colors. Let me share the colors right here with you guys. It's on the back. And then these are the color, they give the color numbers, but you can see them printed out here to see the color range. I have tried I've tried some Shimiko Postals and they are definitely, they're soft and luxurious and they're wonderful. I, I think I'm preferring the, the half sticks. I don't want to get messy and then once I start playing, I usually break them off because I want to use them in the half and, you know, go all around. But I usually wind up getting in there and getting, <laughs> getting messy and having so much fun. So I can't wait to play with this set because I don't have some of these colors uh, for my shmikas, but they're very soft. I'm so excited to have these, especially with these lighter tones. I don't have any of those lighter tones at all. So I can't wait to try these and use these. All right, so I've removed all the wrappings. I'm going to swatch all these lovely shminka palettes for you, as well as a few more of the items that I thought I would swatch for you guys. So. Let's get started. Let's do all the swatching. So let's, I think I'm gonna take these out to swatch these so that I can have them in. I've taken a drop of water to put on each, but it's just been a minute. I didn't wait very long and you don't have to wait. They, they it lifted right up right away. So that's one thing I love about Schmincke. It's not like fine tech where you have to wait. So I'm going to swatch it on black as well as um, white to see how they show up. So first is yellow light pearl. I don't think these are sold individually. I think you can only get them in the sets. which is actually prettier to me on the white. And then now is pure yellow. The, um, it's really hard to read, yellow pearl. which again is prettier on the white. Next is red pearl, which it looks like it's pink. It looks pretty though. They're very creamy. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I've been waiting to get these and because I kind of was on the fence of if I'd like them or if I'd use them. And um, I'm glad I got them on sale and I waited, but they're really pretty. Oh, this one. This one's my favorite, maybe. So pretty. Oh, look at that. And it's just a pearl. It's not, it's not like off the charts metallic. So that's okay with me. That's pretty. I'm, I'm kind of surprised how much better they look on the white, honestly. I was expecting them not to look that good and if I just put them on black, I don't think I would have liked them. So, kind of surprised. Next is blue pearl. I still really don't know what I'm going to do with these though, but <laughs> but I'm glad to have them when I think of something. <laughs> Um, next is cyan blue pearl. Hmm. 
Oh, that's pretty too. I actually think these will be prettiest to use for hand lettering. And I already have lots of things I can do for hand lettering. <laughs> but it's still, it's still fun. So this is the cyan blue pearl and it's really pretty. I think that's my favorite of the blues. That's pretty. Next is green pearl bluish. That's pretty. And then next is green pearl. Yeah, I definitely like that one better. Okay, um, I, I'm shocked how much I like them better on the white. They're really pretty on the white. And maybe after they dry, but I don't, I'm not too impressed with them on the on the black, they're not doing much for me, to be honest. They're really pretty on the white. These are really pretty on the white. Okay, next I have black pearl. It's kind of pretty. On the black even, it's kind of a silver gray. So it is a silver gray, dark silver gray. It's pretty. And then next we have red gold. I forgot to do it on the black. Next is yellow gold. That's pretty too. Okay, well, guess what guys? I don't regret getting these either. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. So pretty. I think I like that yellow gold better. So pretty. Oh, okay. Um, next is light gold so i wonder if this gold is the regular yellow gold i want to know i'm going to check that really quick i don't know if you guys care but i'm super curious oh that's pretty too it's kind of like a pearl gold I need to know if these mix, so really quick, I'm going to um, try to see if I can mix any of these and if they mix, because I have some extra paper here. I don't want to waste it, so you guys can just, I'm just going to start playing and you guys can just fast forward if you don't want to watch. Let's see how they mix. They mix. Might be better in a palette. Okay, so you can mix them. I figured you probably could. 
Of course you can mix them. I just didn't know how well they would mix, but that's pretty. And then let's see, let's see if the, let's see if this mixes. I really need a purple. Yep. See, and it, the color changes. It like mixes better. That's better than it was a few minutes ago, right? That's not just me, right? So after it sits, it gets even better. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. See that? We're just gonna play. This is gonna be my longest video. We're just gonna mix paints all day. <laughs> Look how pretty. Floral, special edition floral. Let's swatch all of these. Try to get it where I'm in camera. Okay, so first we have chromium yellow lemon and I am swatching this on 100% cotton paper this is the Arteza brand this time next is pure yellow which this is one of my favorites so I'm really glad they included this color I think it's a really nice yellow I don't know how Schminka classifies it but that's why I like it. Next is yellow orange. That's prettier than I thought it was going to be, really. Orange is not one of my favorite colors. I think it just, it's like, it's so easy to mix. Why would you, why would you waste your space with an orange? But the, the um, transparent orange is the only orange to me that's kind of worth it. But this is vermilion light, which can be really pretty coral color washed out. So I'm going to try to do Trying to do the swatches big enough where you guys can see them and then I still have room to wash them out. See how it, oh that's really pretty when it's washed out. And next is Transparent Red Deep. I don't think I've tried this color before. And I don't have the pigment information in front of me, but now I'm curious if this is a light vest or not. Next is Ruby Red. I never really thought about having just a palette for just for florals before. Okay, this is one of my favorite reds from Schminka, along with, um, I think it's Scarlet Red. That's really pretty, but it can be deeper if I can put another line so you guys can see how so next is Quinacridone Magenta one of this is a, one of the colors that's usually in my palette it's really pretty really pretty magenta and I don't <laughs> 
Um, don't want to get close to the letters. Yeah, really pretty. Okay, next is quinacridone purple. Which, of course, I love because it's that cooler purple towards magenta that I love so much. And they're really, it's really, it, it mixes really well. Next is Cobalt Blue Light. That's pretty. I don't know if I've tried that color either. Okay, next is Thalo Blue. Which is a really good mixing color. If you're new to watercolors, Thalo Blue is a really good mixing blue. Makes really clean mixes because it's single pigment and there's no granulation, so that's, I'm sure, why they included this. Okay, next is Helio Green. So this is getting me out of my box because these are colors, some of these colors I have not used before. It's very kind of an unnatural, it looks more like a phthalo green. Um, I've, in fact, I think this is their phthalo green and it will make really good mixes. Perline green. And this is one of my favorites. I love it. It's, it just makes everything so interesting and I love it. It's one of my, <laughs> it's in every palette, almost every palette that I make. Even when I just try to include my pretty colors, it's such a good mixing color. I was kind of on the fence whether this was a regret for me, honestly, <laughs> but I, I'm pretty happy with these colors. This would probably be my favorite, but let's swatch them out and see. So I have removed all the labels and let's just go ahead and swatch all these out. <laughs> so this is my favorite, but it's because I, I love a lot of the colors. None of these colors are new to me. I already know that I like them, but it's fun to try new colors and make new mixes and maybe I'll find new favorites that I didn't know about. First we have lemon yellow. This is one of my favorite colors and every brand, I usually have it on my palette. So I'm trying to go and get the lightest shade. So I'm adding quite a bit of water, more water than I usually do for my swatches, but so you guys can see the washed out look. So, but this makes such beautiful greens. It's such a good mixing color. 
So that's why that is one of my favorites. And next is Transparent Orange, which is my favorite Schmanka Orange. If I'm Okay, sorry I messed up that transparent orange. Next, the um, they're really close, so I just totally went in and grabbed the geranium red on accident. Okay, next is geranium red. And then next is magenta. And it can be really um, lightly washed out to be light pink. Uh, next is Perline Violet, another one of my favorites. It's almost always on one of my palettes. It's really pretty on its own as well. It's a really good mixing colors. And you can mix it with Perline Green to make grays. And I generally never have any grays or blacks on my palette, so it's uh, I have to have it. And then next is French Ultramarine, and I am so glad that they included this because this is French Ultramarine is my favorite Ultramarine from Schmincke because I love the granulation. I think it's a really pretty color. They usually include the ultramarine finest in all their palettes. It doesn't have any granulation, and and um, I don't like that one as well. So I'm really glad they included this one. Really pretty. Now, next is Helio Cerulean. So basically a phthalo blue. I think I like the uh, this Helio Cerulean. I think I like this better than the normal Thalo Blue. And then next we have Thalo Green. This is probably the only color on here that it doesn't do much for me. They have better colors. It's a good mixing color, but it's just not my favorite. Okay, next is May Green. Really pretty really pretty light green and I believe it's a convenience mix and then next you have perline green and such great it makes such great mixes and such great um, foliage and leaves and makes really interesting colors. Okay, next is neutral tint. And I probably don't need too much of this. It's kind of a purpley gray color that you could use for shadows. But I generally mix mine. Try to share the darkest Okay, hopefully you guys can see all that. 
So I've actually swatched these twice because this is the, uh, this is 100% cotton paper and I had the names and everything listed, but I also swatched them on arches just to see if it, um, <laughs> the paper made any difference. And I'm not seeing, um, I'm not seeing any difference. I did use quite a bit of water because I, that's kind of one of my new things is I like seeing the, how it disperses just because I find it like mesmerizing, but, uh, it does cauliflower a lot more if you use the, a lot more water, but I, I kind of think that that's pretty, but if you guys don't like that, I do the swatches with the extra water, then just let me know. And, uh, cause I don't want to waste my time or yours. And, but, um, I love seeing how the, uh, water makes it flow with each color. So first we have cobalt teal and it's a gorgeous, perfect cobalt teal. It's perfect. gorgeous it granulates and it's just perfect and then next we have potter's pink and you can mix both of these with lots of colors and get all kinds of different mixes and they mix together really well too and this one is a these are full pans and they're a very affordable line because I believe it's about well these might be more, but most of the Roman Schmal line is between four and five dollars a pan, which is becoming a really good price for paints now because everything's going up so much in price. And you can wash it out. It's probably meant for flush tones. I'm not sure, but it's, I just think it's a beautiful color and beautiful mixing color. I didn't appreciate it my first six months or so when I was new to watercolors. And then when you mix the two, then it's really pretty. Watch this. It's just so pretty. You can make so many interesting colors though, mixing just these two. Anyway, um, there's those. So those are my two of my top colors. Um, okay, so now we have this um, Albert Durer Magnus pencil. This is Helio Blue Reddish. And this is a big chunky pencil. And I'm really glad I tried it because I was curious if I would like them more. I don't know if I like them more. So I think it'd be fun if I ever found a sale, but now that I've tried one, I don't need to go out and buy them all. But look at how that just re-wets, gorgeous. So maybe if you have a favorite color, you want that big one. But yeah, I'm really glad I, I'm really glad I got that for free. I don't know if this is going to come for free on all of the sets. All right, so I have a piece of paper cut down and, um, and then I'm going to swatch these out. So let's swatch these out and what I love about these pencils is they just melt. It just, all of it, it's just lovely. They are very expensive but they are so worth it.
There's no lines. You don't live in a um, pigment. It just all goes away. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Such pretty colors. This one, oh, that one just, oh, I love this so much. So my dog just came in here. So if you hear extra noises, you might hear my dog, Bella. This is the first one that's a little hard to get it all. My battery is about to die and I don't know how much notice it gives me before it dies. But that will have to be the end of this video when my battery dies. So if it shuts off on me, I just want to tell you guys to, I hope you enjoy this video. And I will swatch the Sennelier oil sticks in another video because I think I'll just swatch out all of mine so you can see all the colors I have. Um, I think I'll have enough where I won't need any more for a while, hopefully. So I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.